We've had some subscribers asking about this loose backpack. Let's talk about it. What's up everybody welcome to the channel. If you're brand new to fishing or just here looking for some tips, tricks, reviews, or unboxings, hey you've come to the right spot. It's absolutely free to click that subscribe button, bang that little bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Like this one. Several people have noticed this backpack sitting behind me in a lot of my recent videos and asked for a review on it. So I figured hey when's a better time to talk about it than when we can't be out fishing. Now the official name of this thing is the Lose Mock hatch pack tackle backpack boy that's a mouthful it's a loose backpack loose also has a tackle bag that's laid out more horizontally whereas this setup is more vertical but i prefer a backpack because for me it serves multiple purposes obviously it can carry all of my gear whether i'm bank fishing kayak fishing or boat fishing what i often like to do when i'm creek fishing instead of carrying all this with me because obviously, <laughs> I'm too old and broken down to be, carrying, to be carrying this much gear with me up and down creek for whatever. But it lets me throw this in the back of my truck so that when I get to the creek, I can look at the clarity of the water and determine what baits I think I'm going to throw that day and feed from this into a smaller knapsack, grab a rod, and go fish. And if conditions change, come back and feed out of this. But for you younger guys, it's got a great set of straps plus a chest strap for throwing this on and hiking around. If you're going around like a bigger pond, it'll be easier for you younger guys to carry this around. Good steady straps, good strong grab handle. It's got the chest straps. So you can, you know, fasten it across the center. It's really padded right here. Two big, thick pads. You can see that sticking out here, right here. I mean, that's a good half inch padding that comes out separate from the whole backpack because what that does with this being the backpack and these being the two big pads, it leaves that gap between the bag and your back. It, it leaves that space for airflow so you're not just cooking when you're carrying this thing around in the summertime. They actually thought about this a little bit, made it easy with this sponge like padding and then space in between to give you some place to breathe. But it's nice because it's got different loops on it. If you want to clip a GoPro, a phone, uh, carabiners, anything like that, they actually thought about this instead of just, you know, putting empty straps on here with no other uses. You can actually use these pads or these straps. So obviously they did it in the bright neon green and black theme of the Mach 2 series. Right here in the front, we got a spot for pliers or scissors. We also have a spot here. I have real magic, but you can put suntan lotion, your your squirty spray stuff, or you know, juicing up your baits or whatever. It's got a front pocket here. On the outside of all of the pockets, it's got another little pouches where you can stick like packs of hooks. In this case, I have a, 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 a poncho in case it rains. Same on this side. You see I've got a line clipper hooked on this side of it. But nice, big, oversized pockets. You see a grommet right here on the front. If you've got a box of line in here and you need to tie some leader line, you can pull that out and keep it inside. Like in this pocket here, I've got four different boxes of Seaguar fishing string so I can put anywhere in that position that I want. But I've still got plenty of room in that pocket to stuff more stuff in there if I wanted to. The pockets are all pretty good size. Each of these pockets has the high-vis pull tab, so you can always figure out where it is that you need to pull to be able to open it. Back around to the front, you have a big, huge pocket up front. All kinds of storage. I mean, you've got from here to here, and probably two inches deep to throw in there anything that you want. Same on the sides, and the ones on the sides are nice because they're big enough to easily hold soft plastics like these Bandito Bugs. Crack and crawls, what else I got in here? Some uh, lunker logs, you know, whatever. You can you can actually set each pocket up if you wanted to, if you, you want to tote your soft plastics around like this. You know, like here I have Texas rig stuff or trailer stuff up top here. I have another big pocket up on top. And this is a big deep pocket up there. You can see all the the baits I have in there, those are all my like, swim bait trailers and uh, chatter bait trailers and stuff like that. But as you see, it's a nice big deep pocket. If you carried all your soft plastics on the side, you know, you can throw some lunch or anything else up there. Nice big pocket there on top. As you can see up front, you have a reinforced pocket for sunglasses. 
Me, I carry my my Oakley polarized glasses in there for when I'm out fishing, and these are very well protected. It's got a hard shell on it. It's kind of like the 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 cover I think that you get with you know from Oakley, but this is a nice hard shell that was going to protect these glasses if this thing is dropped or slammed. The bottom is rubber. I won't say it's waterproof, but it's water resistant. I've had this thing sitting next to a creek and the mud and leaves and uh, side of a hill and a bank or whatever. Uh, you know, and it's it's been perfect. And then the main chassis of this thing is huge. So this will carry, as you can see in here, I've got five 3700 size boxes. And then off to the side of it, I've got my smaller terminal tackle box. And I'll just pull them all out. I got my main terminal tackle, this edge terminal box. I got my completely disorganized jig, chatterbait, spinnerbait box. I got my box with some crankbaits and some top waters in it. I got two different Guga Squad boxes that have plastics in it. Crawls, Bandito bugs, trailers. And this one's full of Mondo worms, Berkeley power worms, lizards, some finesse trick worms, lots of lunker logs. And then carry it off to the side of that. I have a smaller terminal tackle box. This is normally what I keep up front with me when I'm in the kayak. But if I want, you know, something just quick and easy to carry, I can grab this, a few different bags of plastics if I want, throw those in a smaller knapsack, and uh, carry them with me with no problem. But the great thing about this setup is, if you're bank fishing, if you're kayak fishing, you can literally throw this on the seat behind you if you don't have a crate, and just serve you know, out of it whatever you need for the day. If you're a co-angler in a bass tournament, having one of these that you can just throw into the back of a boat with, with your rods makes it nice and easy. Everything that you could possibly want to carry with you that day, you can have with you for the full day of the tournament. Makes it really nice. Now, if you don't know what a co-angler is, if you're looking to ever get into tournament fishing and you don't have a boat, you can always join a bass club or you can show up at these professional tournaments and register as a co-angler. Basically, you're the guy fishing out of the back end of a bass professional's boat. If you're ever thinking about getting into tournament fishing, fishing with the pros, it doesn't matter if it's a state level, local level, bass masters, the whole nine, it's a great way to learn. You get on the water with these guys that have been fishing their whole lives professionally, you can learn a ton. I did that for years. I also team tournament fished with my brother. My brother had a big 21 foot nitro boat. There were times that I would fly down to Texas when he was guiding at Lake Fork and being able to have all your stuff in a bag like this where you just show up with your rods, you can throw your reels in the top if you want while you're traveling, hop in a boat, and you've got everything that you that your favorite stuff all set up in this bag easy to serve out of now i'm going to link this bag in the description below but i highly recommend if you if you're a member of like dicks or someplace like that where they have the scorecard rewards i highly recommend i don't like the price point at this at 129 bucks and that's i didn't pay for that for it and I, honestly i wouldn't this to me is a, is a bag that's probably worth in the $80 range, $129 is, is too much for me. It's a great, great, great bag. But that price point, it's just, it's, yeah, it should be about 50 bucks less than that. But I highly recommend if you're a Dick's Rewards member, and that's what I used to get when I got this in the spring last year, wait till you get one of your 20% off coupons. And then also, if you have like the $10 rewards things, you could stack those up and save some money on that. And that's exactly what I did when I got this. But if you've got to have it now, I'll drop you a link down in the description below from Amazon. Because I know they have them there and I know at least two people who've already gone out and bought them. But keep an eye out for Dick's and other places when they have stuff like this on sale. Because this is a great, solid backpack. Now, if you're just a youngster, you know, first starting out go to Tackle Warehouse. They got bags in the $60 range that will do everything you need. But if you're somebody who's worked some overtime or got a little extra of your stimulus check and you're looking for something solid to carry all of your gear in, I highly recommend this backpack. But the one from Tackle Warehouse is also very good as well. Debo actually did a review on one not too long ago and you should go check out his video for something in that price point. Me, I wanted something I knew was going to be really durable because I used the hell out of this thing. Between bank fishing and carrying all of my gear to the lake, whether I'm going to be feeding into a kayak or a boat. 
because of my kayak I have a crate in the back of it and I take these out every time and put them back into this so I can take and lock that stuff up in my truck and then when I get home I'll set it all up on the shelf so I know everything is together every time as long as I grab this bag when I go to the lake I know I have every bait that I'm going to need when I go fish now if you're curious about these Plano Edge 3700 I'll link those in the description down below too I've got one that's specific that I carry crankbaits in uh, this other one here is specific for jigs and chatterbaits and then this one is also specific for terminal tackle so that makes it really nice because like I use this to feed these into my kayak I use this terminal tackle kit that's got everything in it to feed my smaller one that I may carry if I'm creek fishing or fishing in the kayak because I will throw this under the seat when I'm in the kayak and I just have a lanyard on it so that I can literally just pull it out from under my seat and get out what I need to, uh, to rig up so I'm not twisting and turning too much back there except for to grab these bigger bigger boxes and then depending on what I'm doing that day I'll generally take and load the soft plastics I think I'm going to throw the day I'll put these under my seat in my kayak as well so those are up front with me it keeps me from twisting and turning too much to grab these unless that's just something I really need but I really really love this because it's easy to fill it up it holds these big monstrous 3700 series storage boxes You can see it all fits in there really nice. I mean, that's six different. Six different tackle storage boxes. Just like that. Zip it up. Then I can just carry this up and throw in the back seat of my truck. And it's locked away, ready to go. Now, I like in, the, in this front pocket. And I, funny, I don't have it in there. It must be in, in my kayak still. Um, I've got a hook removal tool that I like to use. And uh, I'll put that right there too. But I mean, this Lou's Mock backpack is really nice. It's heavy duty, it's durable, looks nice. A lot of the folks who really like the color schemes that Lou's does with some of the rod and reel combos, this would appeal to that crowd. I dig it and I like it. And this is something that you'll see a lot more of, you know, come this spring and summer too, because I'll be using this as the main storage for my stuff as I feed out from my different, you know, ways to fish. So what do you think? Is this something that you like? Drop me a comment down below. I've got a few other reviews coming that you guys have asked for. I'm going to go through a lot of the stuff that I use for my bank fishing, for kayak fishing, and so forth until we hit spring coming up soon. But I figure I'd just take the time to go through a lot of the gear that I picked up last year to serve my kayak fishing and, and bank fishing for a lot of those who do that too. But great, great bag. I'm really digging it. If you want to see this bag used in one of the videos I did when I was creek fishing, you can watch that video right here. Once you're done with that, YouTube thinks you might want to watch this video. Until next time, go outside if you can. Make a memory. Hey, they last a lifetime.